Yo, what's up guys, it's Gavs here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be reviewing Gunner's Wicked. Gunner is an artist and content creator from the GTA, the Greater Toronto Area, with over 25,000 monthly listeners on Spotify and over 80,000 subscribers on YouTube. He has songs and collaborations with the likes of Dom Corleo, Slump Success, Jace, Autumn, and Summers, as well as an appearance on the Cuff Boys podcast. He's even been seen working with Sleep Ski Master Slump God and DJ Scheme, presumably on their forthcoming projects. So it's safe to say he's rather established in the music industry, especially in the underground. I first found Gunner through First Class Fest 2022, where he, I believe he was a special guest for the holiday. Either way, he caught my eye with his song, Hold It Back. And from there, I went down the rabbit hole, watching his appearance on the Cuff Boys podcast, and then following his crazy run in January with songs like Oh My God, I Way Too Much, Hole Up, and Beijing. Gunner has truly been one of my favorite artists this year, especially seeing him live at Dead Eagles vs. The World 2 and First Class Fest 2023. So when I heard he was releasing an album, and then you added on the fact that one track said it was one of the best he's heard in the underground, I had to give my two cents. Wicked is Gunner's debut album, consisting of 13 songs and clocking in at just over 25 minutes in runtime. This is the perfect length, in my opinion, for an underground project, especially for this type of sound. The runtime could definitely be a bit longer, but as I've stated in previous reviews, that's just purely the sign of the times. The album starts off with Six Feet, a song that is a very good introductory track to anyone who hasn't heard Gunner's music before. It really showcases the sound that Gunner's been experimenting with over the last year. It is a rather simplistic take on said sound, and as far as album intros go, it isn't quite what I was expecting, but I still gave it a 7.1. We then get Wiki Driving with Summers. This song is a perfect example of Gunner's ability to make a catchy hook out of literally nothing. What I mean by that is lyrically, Gunner isn't saying much, but the way he's able to formulate an amazing song and a catchy ass hook without really saying too much is exactly why he's in the place he is right now. And it's just part of the artistry Gunner showcases on this album. The only thing slightly off about this track, I feel like was Summer's verse. I don't know if it was the mix or if it was just the energy Summers brought to the track, but I felt like it left a lot to be desired. All in all though, this song gets a 7.6. We then transition rather smoothly into Outside, which is a very eerie or even wicked vibe to it, which I find very appropriate. It's a very short track that I feel like could have used an extra verse, but overall is a pretty good vibe and listen, I gave it a 7.3. Next is Rick Ross, which is the first song on this album that I would actually really like to see live. Just the flows and melodies on this track feel like classic Gunner, and I genuinely enjoyed it. No complaints with this one, I gave it a 7.8. Track five on this one is Butler, which is a lot more of a low-key vibe than the first four tracks. There's just something about the way Gunner says titties and butt on this one that put me off, it, it put me off. Like sometimes it's the little shit that can just, you know, ruin a song for you. And this, I don't, I don't know. It might be some neurodivergent shit. I don't know. It's just, there's something that doesn't quite click with the chorus and hook. But the fact that that's the only memorable thing about this track says a lot about it. I think it could have maybe been left off the project. I gave it a 6.8. We then get a first of its kind in Slutty Slime with the sense of taking the underground sound Gunner lives in and making you feel some sort of real emotion with it, especially when it comes to love. Some of the lyrical content doesn't necessarily reflect that vibe, but the overall vibe of the song is that of a love song. I think it shows a glimpse of the range Gunner has and does a way better job of the low-key type track Gunner was going for than Butler did. I gave it a 7.5. Then it's back to the super hype shit with Till I Die. The holding notes on the chorus on this one just goes insane. It's just the perfect way to showcase the distorted and glitchy vibe Gunner has, and I can only imagine how hard it would go live. I do think the Cardi influence comes in a little strong on this one. I think at times Gunner's vocals almost replicate perfectly like a Cardi imitation. But that being said, I think Gunner also does a pretty good job of still making it his own. I gave it an 8.1. Nothing left is then a hard left from the previous song. So much so that I feel like it almost should have been ahead of Till I Die. It being labeled an interlude almost signals to me that Gunner doesn't expect you to come back to this track very often. But it is just that, it's an interlude. The issue with this interlude though, is on a project like this, where the artist isn't necessarily pitching a narrative or a storyline, it kinda serves no purpose. The purpose of an interlude in my mind is to push the narrative and the story of an album forward. But in this case, it's not really doing that. 
and thus I'm going to give it a 6.5. The vibe is then lifted once again with Wiki Wimmy with Richard Miri. This track goes hard all the way through. Richard Miri complements Gunner's energy super well on this track. This is definitely a song I will be coming back to really often. I gave it a 7.9. Next is In Too Deep, which to me is a sh another showcase of Gunner's sound. It almost feels familiar because of how much it fits this album and Gunner's discography as a whole. I feel like if you play this song with way too much back to back, it's like the same, almost like it could be the same song. I gave it a 7.5. We then get Nowhere, which is another super low-key track. It's probably my favorite of the low-key tracks on this project. I genuinely just don't have any complaints. I, it's a solid 7.4. Then we get the penultimate track, Super Bad. I almost feel like this is the outro, or at least should have been. I feel like it's the perfect culmination and end to the project, which is almost why I feel it's weird that there's a song after it. But other than that, I'll give it a 7.2. Finally, we get Metamorphosis, which was the lead single off of this project. But with its placement, it almost feels like it's a bonus track. Placement aside though, this is one of Gunner's best songs. The use of the sample is perfect. The way the bass goes in and out creates a nice dichotomy within the track, and Gunner's vocals just could not fit the vibe better. It's a solid 9 for me. Overall, Wicked is a great showcase of the sound Gunner has been doing for the last year. It has some flaws, mostly in the placement of songs and potentially some filler, but all in all, this is a very, very strong project from Gunner. I would definitely like to see Gunner evolve from this after this project, given the fact that I know he has the ability to do a lot more. It can do a wider range of sounds it will be very interesting to see where gunner goes from here everything put together though i will give gunner's wicked a 7.5 out of 10 so be sure to let me know what you thought of wicked in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe for more music content and i will see you guys in the next video